Evans here, board Dong Feng here at the Volvo stop over in Newport, Rhode Island. I'm going to review a little bit of the hardware most people don't recognize is on these boats. One of that, that system would be our back car system. The back car system is a series of cars that are affixed to a track that's attached to the mast. In this case, the mast track is bonded to the spar and also fastened in several spots. The back car system basically works with a series of ball bearing cars that are recycling bearings. This is one of the luff cars or intermediate cars. The back cars are slightly longer and they have a toggle on them and then that attaches it to the sail. The system allows for fast shorthanded reefing, main up and down, um, all the advantages to keep the crew safe and in the cockpit versus up at the mast struggling with the main if they need to reef or douse in a hurry. They have a quick release pin in case they need to remove the main in a hurry or reinstall or repair even. They can do this very easily and very safely without a lot of struggle. The system itself is maintained by the teams themselves. It's designed to be a very low maintenance system so it doesn't need the attention as like the winches and stuff like that and the, the Hark and Tech team to take care of it. So the shore crews manage, manage this product themselves. Um, management really is just cleaning maybe an occasional new bearing or something. Uh, but for the most part, it's just a freshwater flush and a little bit of soap and water and they're as good as new again. Um, on Dong Feng here, you can see one thing that they did was they added a piece of small reflective tape to the cars. That way at night they can see where every car is in place. The mast track is screwed and glued to the spar all the way up to the top. There are several sections where it is screwed in, but mostly it is bonded to the mast with an adhesive. The, the kit has been almost now twice around the world. Uh, very shortly here they'll be finishing up and this will be the the system second time around. Um, so they're holding up great. There's an occasional need, like I said, to replace a bearing or two in the system. Um, they are doing the extreme sailing in some of the most extreme conditions, so things do occasionally bind up. But for the most part, the reason and we've designed such a system is to make it safe and easy for the teams to be able to work their mainsail from the safety of the cockpit or with relatively shorthanded crews so they don't have to shake up everybody in the middle of the night. Um, these systems are pretty much identical other than some features to make them a little lighter and a little more extreme for the racing these guys are doing. These systems are identical to the systems that you could buy for your own boat.